He sounded crazy. He was right. His benefactors gave him might. And now he belongs at this fine site. I was five years old when I first uh, hit a tennis ball and a racket was put in my hand. And I never wanted to learn another sport, and I still don't. I'm proud to say that no other sport has benefited from having such great people as its leaders. The big four guys really pissed me off most of the time when I played them. But I'm absolutely proud to have my life and career associated with such, such quality individuals. A woman who pioneered the sport and introduced it to a nation where it is now spreading like no one could have ever imagined. Could you please welcome to the stage, Li Na. That's something we're really missing today is those special moments, those speeches. Great to see Mary Carrillo there making TC Live. Uh, Lindsay, obviously, you had a wonderful speech yourself in 2014. What would be your advice, I guess, next year now for Conchita and Goran going up there? You know, there's a lot of people that are willing to dole out advice. I heard many um, different takes on how what this speech should be like. And ultimately, I just ended up writing it myself over the course of a few months and um, I think that's what you've got to do. You've got to just come from the heart. You see some people get real personal up there. You see some people go for a really long time. You see other people go real, real short and sweet. I think it's whatever you're comfortable with. And if, it wa if you want to make it about other people, that's fine. Um, but honestly, it's your moment. And this might be the last really big speech you ever give. And just enjoy it if you can. It's a lot of stress involved, but um, I definitely felt a lot better when it was over. <laughs> and you had that jacket on, the, the sense of relief when, when all that yes. happened. <laughs> yes. uh, Prakash, back in 2008, when you made the finals there of the Hall of Fame Open in Newport, tell us about what happened. Uh, there weren't many ground strokes that week, uh, Steve. You can see I was a little bit leaner back then in 2008, but it was it was a really special week. I remember I think my toughest match was in the semis against Frank Dancevic. He was playing pretty well, but uh, I, did, I didn't look too happy there when uh, I think Dad was handing out the trophy. He had won the tournament three times, so he was uh, asked to give out the trophy, and uh, I think we were all hoping he was going to be giving it to me, but uh, he gave it to Santoro, and I don't look pleased. Fabrice <laughs> Santoro, I ah, got you in that final. But uh, pretty sp uh, we talk about family and the Hall of Fame in Newport, and to be there with your father as well, pretty special. Absolutely. I, I grew up there. I mean, when I was a kid, watching him play there, kind of, you know, running around the court as a little toddler, the same restaurants were there, there, the same square was there. So to be able to come back there as a player, kind of, feels a bit like home. You have that beautiful church where JFK got married. There's a lot of history in that town. Yeah, there certainly is, and we hope to be back next year for the uh, 2020 and 2021 enshrinements of the classes at the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Lindsay Prakash, as always, great to see you. Stay safe, stay well, and, and hope to see you in person soon, and we hope to get this back together with the tour starting once again in August. Uh, we have a full slate, though, of matches coming up for you tomorrow on Tennis Tennis Channel and TC Plus. Those finals in Berlin start at 6 a.m. Eastern. The Tip Sport Elite Trophy as well. And the UTR Pro Series in Spain at 11 a.m. Eastern. Fame may be fleeting, but the Hall of Fame is forever. Congratulations to Conchita Martinez and Goran Ivanisevic on joining the best of the best in tennis history. You can join them as well by going to tennisfame.com slash your name. Thanks for watching Tennis Channel Live. We'll see you soon.